Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to reboot the Dry Tech Router. Uh, there are two methods. One is through the web browser, if you connect with the IP of the router. And other one is to do the reboot with the power switch. I'm making this video because there are some people that they do reboot, so-called reboot, and they press this bat uh, button. It's factory reset, so it's going to wipe all of the settings and you're going to lose the internet connection to your cinema, to your home, to any other business that you have. So to the reboot on normal way, switch it up and switch it on. There is a power switch on the back, as you can see. And okay, so now you will see better. There is a power switch on the back. So you just need to switch it off. Okay, I'm going to flip it. The lights are on and if I will press the button on the back, the lights will light up. Okay. And now the router is booting up. At this moment, this router is not connected to any internet through the VAN2 connection. As you can see, that's the VAN2 connection or through the ADSL, like phone line or something like that. So, uh, after the router boots up, the lights are blinking and the connection that connects your router to the computer or to network switch will light up. It's only one light because it's only 100 meg connection. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do the reboot on the through the interface through the web interface. So, okay. So first you will need to know your router IP address on the Linux system. You just click terminal and you type in I F config okay so the internet connection that your router is getting it's 192.168.66 that's for your laptop and the router will be if you type root minus n Oops, I forgot minus. Okay, so your router is this one, gateway. So that's your router and this is what you type in in your browser. Okay, so we need to enter the password now. To reboot the router from the web interface, you need to go to System Maintenance, scroll down, and there is a section called Reboot System, and click do you want to reboot the router? Select the using current configuration because if you select the bottom one, you're going to wipe it and it's going to be back to the factory setting. So let's reboot. And it will give you the warning uh, where to access the router. So, okay, it says no internet because there's no connection to the router. And if we do ping minus C ten, so it's going to try ten times, and then the router IP address. And we have the ping, so we should have the connection to the router. And if we click refresh. And the connection is back. So this is how you reboot the router.